This week, we're going to take a quick look at a retro game that puts you in the shoes or <laughs> heels of a heroine who's fighting to save the city from radioactive sewer dwarves. And it looks like your brother's willing to help, too. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's going on with his pants? What the heck? Spring is right around the corner, here on the bean farm. And this is our review of... Radioactive Dwarf. I'd like to thank the publisher for providing me a review copy of the game prior to its release. Developed by Slave Brewman. Published by those rascals over at... Chili Dog Interactive. This game right here got a very special release on March 10th to all major consoles for that price of $4.99. Oh, a new Chili Dog release. <laughs> Bring those sweet Chibos right over here. I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> okay. This week's game looks a lot like other releases of theirs. Restless Night, which was a really cool tribute to content creators for those who helped showcase indie console gaming. So first we have that, and now we have this. Radioactive dwarves from the sewers, the most dangerous and vile creatures on the planet. Oh no, but wait, it gets worse. The game was built to look like it was running on an 8-bit NES console. Oh no, say it's not so. Dad, why are you still playing these games? They look so old. Oh, no, no, no. You just wait there, Timmy. I'll tell you why. It's not all about graphics and GPUs, my friend. There's this whole world of indie games out there that focus on gameplays and storylines. Such as this one. So, pull up a chair and have a listen. Nope, that's it. I'm out of here. Well, then I guess you're going to have to listen to this story. The city is terrified. In the evenings, the cases of missing people on the streets become more frequent. Newspapers say the ancient settlements of dwarves has awoken underground, taking over the sewers and attacking people at night. The heroine's brother disappears and she goes in search of him to fight back the evil from the sewers. This game has been built up as a top-down shooter with a lot of enemies, items, secrets, bonuses and mini games. That sounds a lot like all the things that I can play about modern games not having. Well, let's not get too carried away. We'll see about this. Radioactive dwarves will appeal to those who have not played enough of these style of games on the NES, which is like nobody. While you're at it, enjoy the beautiful chiptune soundtracks and 70s style humor in the form of B-level movies. Which is great, because I'm all about campy cult following B-movies. Believe me, that humor is right at home here on the farm. Even though they brought the crappy in television graphics with them. You guys can take that right back to the sewer with them. Good thing this is a chili dog release. As you probably know, I'm going to roll that delicious chili dog code overlay. So here it is. You'll unput the code on the D-pad. Up, up, down, down, up. Up, right, left, left, right, and X. If you've successfully entered the code, you'll be given this level skip option. Toggle it on and the game's yours, baby. Only now you'll have... Phenomenal cosmic power. So by entering the code anywhere in the game, you'll be given the option to activate this level skip. So if you're overly frustrated and you're about to ready to throw that controller right through the wall... Ow. Stop. Don't do it. Use the code... Save the controller. The code also grants you God Mode for those of you who want to extend your playthrough and actually, you know, play the game. Play the game. <laughs> okay, Reggie, don't beat me. <laughs> so, if you're getting your butt handed to you, oh, he's a noob. you can always jump ahead to the next level and try to discover them secret areas and hidden treasure. <laughs> You did say there's secret areas, right? Secret. I believe the bare bones retro graphics will be enough to scare away most modern gamers. So we're really just left here talking about the indie camp. 
diehard chili dog fans, and maybe a few achievement hunting communities. So we're pleased to announce that this one is being pinned as the quickest completion of the year, with Cheetah boasting a 20-second completion. <laughs> Whatever it is. I can make that much money in five seconds. Yeah, whatever. You may be fast, but you're not that fast. Anyway, for any of you wanting to laugh at how he cannot complete the game in under a minute, I'll put a link to that fake guy right up here. Yay, Cheetah's guys. I love it. As for a rating, they certainly don't get any points for the graphics style here. Although the cutscenes were snarky and well thought out, the archaic retro throwback controls really brought me back to the Atari 2600 days. Retro gaming is here to stay. The lack of variety of enemy AI and environmental textures fell right in line. Wow. It's a quick and easy completion, and without the cheat code, there are some hard challenges to be had. But looking at all the pieces here, it adds up to about two beans out of five. Yeah, well, that wrapped up that review right there. <laughs> Here's some notes I took. Where I put the keys to the track. <laughs> so, you know we make these new review videos every week, so if you're an indie developer or there's something you want to see... Uh, how about no? Or call a pootie. Let us know your thoughts and recommendations in the comments down below. Be sure to visit again next week as we continue to take humorous stabs at some of the industry's new and upcoming titles. American Asia. Hey, this is you next time on the Fox.